this is my take on the helicarrier. And yes, that little plane that you see flying up there can indeed land on it. It can fly upwards. If it really tries hard, it can eventually fly forwards. But obviously the most distinguishing feature of a helicarrier is that aircraft can land on it and be stowed. Of course, that's easier said than done. The way that that was supposed to work is the long runway in the middle was for landing and the two holders on the side were there for stowing. There are some of those small grabber units on each of the holders that the craft could land near, maneuver around, and drop its landing gear on top of to connect to the mothership. And then the idea is, if it ever needs to deploy the craft, they can simply fall off the edge that has no railing and use the runway to land again when they have to redock. Here you can see one of my many attempts to land in a more conventional way using most of the runway. I can't get myself to stop in time. Undoubtedly if I was better at piloting these different aircraft, or if I was using an aircraft other than this one, it would probably be easier for me to land in that way. But no, as you can see here, I fall off the edge and one of the prop blades knocks a part off of this small craft here. Don't worry, I was able to recover that damaged craft and land it here. This was actually my first successful landing, and I was also able to stow the craft and attach it to the mothership. It looks like I'm about to fall off the edge, but I don't. I merely used the prop to pull myself back up and onto the platform. One of the things that I noticed and I worried about while I was making this was whether or not the mothership, the actual helicarrier itself, would be able to remain stable while other craft were landing on it. And it's actually very remarkable that the craft is so stable because I come in later, you'll see, with very hard landings, bumping everything around, even taking out some of the prop blades on one of the props for the helicarrier. And the thing was basically entirely stable. Now here you can see I've retracted the landing gear and I'm just sort of moving the nose of the aircraft around until it aligns with that grabber unit. And there we can see we have successfully docked to the mothership. Now every time you do dock, the mothership goes out of whack because it doesn't know what the controls are supposed to be set to. So all you have to do is reset the controls back to where they were as you can see I'm doing. And the thing is pretty much completely good. And of course, because I know that's the main feature of this video, I'll show some more attempted landings and landings just for your viewing pleasure. Here you can see one where I overshoot. I'm going a bit too fast. You gotta be really precise with these. Here's another approach. I'm coming in on a bit of an angle. Never good when you're doing that. But I plop down and Again, it's all about reducing that speed as quick as possible or else you just get destroyed by those blades like you see there. Either that or more commonly you just fall off. And because everyone wants to see it, here is a hot landing where there is a big crash. Interestingly enough, it's always the small ship that gets destroyed from hitting the aircraft carrier. The aircraft carrier itself is completely fine it's like a brick up there like you can't hit it down again it's all about skill really when it comes to landing on something this small i have no doubt that there are people out there who would find this very easy but with me you know it's a lot of trial and error and look at that like i said the thing's still stable even though i took out a whole bunch of those propellers that hold it up so here is where I start experimenting with different types of aircraft, and they all do about the same. This one is actually a little bit harder and a little bit easier paradoxically because it's a lot easier to get a successful land, but the type of landings that you have to do are typically really hard, and that's got to be dangerous. Now, like what I said earlier, what you typically want to do once you have a craft stowed away in the stowing area is just fall off the edge. It's a whole lot easier if you do that. 
but I wanted to see if these ramps here that I placed uh, that lead to the stowing area allow the aircraft to sort of drive back up place itself on the runway align itself and take off in a more traditional manner as you can see here I'm aligning myself pretty good I've gotten myself up that stowing ramp and I'm ready to take off in that traditional manner as you can see it works perfectly fine here I am coming in with a larger Corsair type aircraft with retractable wings and the landing is okay I guess but I accidentally switched to the cockpit view when I wanted to actually slow myself down using my propeller which is done by placing it all the way in the down position it's hard to explain that but you basically set the deploy angle to 90 degrees by shifting all the way down it works as a more effective brake but there you go you see I fell off and it was a failed landing unfortunately here I am coming in again hoping for better luck and it looks like I get that able to slow myself down and back myself up down to the stowing area and I could just leave my aircraft like that but the idea would be that there would be other aircraft trying to land with the carrier and so that's why you need this stowing area you can't just have your aircraft sitting on deck like that and here I am demonstrating the folding capacity so I could theoretically fit a bunch more of aircraft like this on this carrier Anyways, that's probably going to be it for now. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I've been Lord Pasta, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.